Why is church membership important? This is one of those issues that uh, sort of crosses political and even to some degree uh, denominational boundaries. That is, uh, we're living in a day and an age where a low view of the church, including a low view of church membership, is rampant and growing like a cancer. There is a deep sense, perhaps driven by uh, the whole church growth movement that looks at the local church as a kind of uh, business or a product being offered up for sale uh, that then encourages people to see their local church as something they can buy or not buy. If I'm uh, a, a buyer of Pepsi and uh, decide one day, you know, I think I like Coca-Cola better and I start buying Coca-Cola, I haven't violated anything or done anything uh, wrong. It might be a little bit weird, but I haven't done anything wrong. Well, therefore, if I look at the church as a product and I avail myself of that product by going there and involving myself there, what, what is the point? What is the need for church membership? Or we look at church membership as if it's sort of getting stock in the church. That is, the value of it is that it allows you the opportunity to vote whenever the congregation has votes. Well, no, that's not what church membership is all about. What church membership is all about is accountability. When we join a church, we are publicly acknowledging that the leadership of this church has a level of authority over our lives, especially our spiritual lives, that we are, again, publicly acknowledging. At the end of the day, the biblical defense of this, which, by the way, I acknowledge there's no... Uh, Bible verse that has Bible membership vows in it. There's no uh, thou shalt take membership vows anywhere in the Bible. But there is this in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 17. We are encouraged to uh, bless and care for and pray for those who keep watch over our souls, who will give an account for our souls. These are the elders of the church. But if you are simply a grazer, or as uh, Joshua Harris once put it, if you're simply dating the church and not committed to the church, well, who are these men who are going to give an answer for you? See, that's what church membership is. It is the church, especially the elders acknowledging, we will look after your soul. It is the member saying, I'm asking you specifically to look after my soul. What does that mean to look after? Well, of course, it means all the things that go on in the church that happen for everybody, but it means something else that can only happen for members. And that's the blessing of church discipline. That's right. The blessing of church discipline. When we find ourselves in a posture of defiance to the law of God, when we find ourselves uh, falling into gross and heinous sin without repentance, what we need is the gift from God of church discipline. We need the elders, the under shepherds under Christ to come and poke us and prod us to get us back into the fold. Now, the under shepherds are, of course, sinners just like the rest of us. And that's often what's really underlying this downplaying of church uh, membership. I don't want to be under the, those guys' authority. Those guys are no good, blah, 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 blah. Well, I got news for you. Those guys are no good. Just like you. The idea that I am better, that my soul is safer in the care of my own deceitful heart rather than under the care of the elders of the church is frankly, at the end of the day, unbiblical. This is why God gave us the gift of elders, why God gives us the gift of church discipline. Think about the first man who ever received church discipline, the man who had his father's wife. In 1 Corinthians, Paul's like, you're putting up with this? Don't put up with this. You need to put that guy out of the church. You need to excommunicate him. You need to remove him from the Lord's table. And they did. And he came to repentance. And in 2 Corinthians, he said, let him back in. It worked. So... 
get yourself to a church, join the church, acknowledge publicly your submission to the leadership of that church for the sake of your soul and for the sake of your family.